In the time it takes me to make an espresso shot, I'll tell you about research coming from Armit University in Australia. I'm Sensei of Stories, and you're listening to Espresso Knowledge. In 1941, the Polish defeated a pandemic that was killing thousands across Europe. Recently, three scholars used math and history to explain that success. It was public participation and cooperation. By 1941, Nazis had put over 45,000 inmates in the Warsaw Ghetto. People were starving, living in cramped and poor conditions. Typhus, a bacterial disease spread by lice, was infecting and killing thousands. The study calculated that infections would skyrocket by October 1941, peaking in midwinter. But typhus unexpectedly disappeared. Scholars went through historical documents and found that Warsaw Ghetto had many experienced doctors. They organized courses and lectures on public hygiene and infectious diseases, general hygiene, apartment cleanliness, social distancing, and home quarantining was encouraged and at times enforced. There was also an underground medical university. This public participation and cooperation eliminated typhus within the community. As the study shows, the past holds invaluable lessons for the present. The story was adapted from Michael Quinn's article in Armit News.